Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your reading for the 30th of March to the 6th of April. Yahoo! And, well, um, I'm using the Enchanted uh, Dream uh, Enchanted Dream Oracle uh, Tarot deck and uh, uh, I was, you might have seen the review uh, on YouTube or on my website uh, with this author Yasmin Westwood she was awesome and it's great it was a great interview so please go and have a look and see whether you like it she's um, telling us also some secrets so it's really exciting I can't wait so go and find out for yourself and um, there's lots of exciting things happening and the witches vlog is on Wednesday that will be uploaded so if you're interested in to know what is the difference between uh, the witches and homeopathists or aromatherapy then please join us or what do witches do things like that so I'm going to start uh, you've also I'm using Archangel Michael deck and the or, uh, Angel uh, Feather Oracle deck and we're going to start off with oh it's not a very nice card but it can mean anything my darlings it doesn't have to mean that you are sad or that you um, have lost somebody literally uh, but if you have my condolences this card means basically that there is a transformation it, uh, this transformation is painful but you're not falling apart you are just falling into something different with a new capacity uh, to beauty so this could be that you might have lost a job but you there's a better job waiting for you okay this might mean that you've lost a, uh, an item you might have lost a a competition or you might have lost uh, some sensibility of yourself perhaps you are not feeling totally one or feeling as if you're feeling right in your skin you want something else you want adventure you want um, guarantees you want stability and perhaps that is what you are thinking about um, perhaps you might have uh, lost a relationship perhaps you've broken up but time will heal and remember you're not alone but the pain is finding yourself again you have been sowing seeds however because you've also got the seven of pentacles so you are waiting for some of your wishes your ideas really your dreams because you've sown seeds to come true perhaps you are waiting on moving home perhaps you're waiting on a new love perhaps you've already instigated a seed to sign a contract for a better job or a house or for renting or buying okay so the, remember look at the beauty that is lying in front of you the doors are open the possibilities the world is your oyster look at this you've got the Queen of Pentacles so here you've already been the Queen of the Pentacles because you've been sowing seeds with the seven of Pentacles it remember it takes time to grow you need to nurture it and it needs to blossom before you can harvest and that is what the Queen of Pentacles stands for Mother Earth Mother Earth she loves animals and she's just like Snow White she's quite pale in this card um, but she's got magical eyes green eyes and all the butterflies around her and uh, what you call it a nightingale or a hummingbird I think it's a nightingale because he's got a long tail and a fox she is very clever she waits and she's clever she knows uh, how to be clever and analytical because a fox is also analytical he plans what he will sow he plans his 
life's journey and hopes for the best. I know not all our plans come to fruition, um, but that's just the excitement of uh, life. And that's how we have to see life. Life is up and down, but we can make plans that might not necessarily come out the way we want them to, and that might be giving you sleepless nights. Just remember, when you make plans, make plans the high road and the low road. So if your plans does not come uh, the way you would want them, you can tweak them to the way you do like them. It might even be better than you think, Cancer. It might actually be better, perhaps you split up because this person that you split up with was not right for you. It could have been a pentacle, because pentacles is quite prominent here in this reading. The seven of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and of course, um, the Five of Pentacles, and that's why I said you might be feeling out of sorts, not right in your little skin, as they say in Holland. And I hadn't even seen this card, but now I'm going and having a quick look all over, because we've come to the middle of the week, and that's why you might be too much in your head. There is an ending, that's imminent, and the Queen of Pentacles is a new beginning, because she stands for fertility, birth, new job, new world, uh, new um, house, um, something that is of material project. But it has durability and long-term assurance, so don't worry. It will bring you or deliver you or make you money. She knows how to invest because she's like her husband, he's the king of pentacles and he's got the golden touch. She's got green fingers, that's why she's also in the garden and she loves nature. She is as clever and, and analytical as a fox and her husband, otherwise she wouldn't have become the queen. But she's a great mother as well because she loves Mother Earth and she knows that if you plant something it needs to be loved taken care of and it will grow and sprout and uh, blossom. You've got the Ace of Pentacles to confirm everything on Friday. So on Friday you might be starting that new job or you might be moving to that um, new uh, house and it could be also with a relationship with a pentacle. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles, it could be a Sagittarius, uh, sorry, a Virgo, uh, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. Okay, sorry, I, I'm tired. <laughs> um, excuse me. Okay, now the Queen of Coins is all, also represents the Hermit, and that's Virgo. So Virgo is quite prominent because of the Queen is here. There could be a new start with a Virgo. It could be a man with a nurturing side. These cards uh, have or uh, do show the feminine side and the woman. It is really enhancing the woman and what is a woman? Beautiful, nurturing, caring, sensual, sexy, uh, loving passionate and we all are whether we are man or woman it doesn't matter we all have our masculine and feminine side so you might even meet a very nurturing caring Virgo Capricorn or Taurus so don't worry about these sleepless nights but you could have also split from one and it's you might be missing them and giving you sleeping nights but there is a new beginning a nine is an end and you've put the seeds down so there might be another Virgo or Earth sign in your vicinity new beginnings two new beginnings boom a third one saying an ending where there is an ending there's a new beginning you've got the fool look at this card I like the way the fool's depicted here she's climbed the staircase she is where she is and she's taking a leap of faith with this new beginning and the fool is also a new 
beginning even if you feel left out from a group because the five of pentacles means that you might feel left out or isolated you've got heaven's gates there it is beautiful I think this is the best depicted picture of the five of pentacles I love the gates of Saint Peter the heaven gates thank goodness you're not in heaven but it means that the angels and the divine are with you and it could symbolize the church doors as well so it could be ask for help if you need help from institutions be it a social worker be it a doctor if you are not feeling well or stressed out because this is a card of stress and this can organize stress get back to yourself go out there become a member of a club become a member of a society don't feel alone go out there and mingle then you won't feel left out and wow big time to top it all cancer you've got the star your wish or goal is coming true and the star is also representing Aquarius so you might meet an air sign an aquarium that will uh, make your stomach turn with butterflies or make your heart go faster it doesn't have to be an earth sign like the Queen of Pentacles Virgo it can be a Sagittarius then we've got the page the page of ones and the page of ones means that news will be brought to you the page of ones means that um, uh, news will come will be brought to you by a young person between 17 16 to 25 27 um, but this could also mean that you could be meeting a Sagittarius okay the news will be coming through cyber I think uh, could be WhatsApp could be email and could be a telephone but it could also be personal they could be coming to you because it's not the swords so it's not cyber but I've got that boom uh, because they are swift so that's why it came up in me I think and you do have swords here and here so um, yes don't worry talk to one of these people if somebody is a Virgo or an Aquarian or a Sagittarian then do talk to them if you feel out of sorts or if you feel left out because of this loss that you've had everybody is sad and upset when they have a loss now for your angel uh, Archangel uh, rainbow uh, uh, angel feather card you've got the rainbow angel feather a special blessing with immense excitement the angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing angelic joy would radiate to you through this blessing and the rainbow means that you can eat any fruit can wear any color as all the colors of the rainbow are there so you've got all the angels you've got Uriel, Gabriel, Jovial, Raphael, Shamuel, Haniel, Michael, Raziel and Zakil and Metatron so those are all your angels are with you you don't have just one or none now I'm going to pick out one card <coughs> and I've picked the number three in, uh, this is where I'm drawn to to this card uh, especially because I don't want you to be sad and know that this is only a transformational time okay the key words to this card is heartbeat heartbreak loneliness betrayal grief loss separation sorrow trauma upset conflict sadness tears 
despondency, divorce, being cheated on. <coughs> Excuse me. And this week I am uh, trying to support you by motivating you to think about things food for thought. You can do it, but you don't have to do it. I'm going to ask you a question and then I'm going to give you a task. Are you still harboring pain from people who hurt you in the past? Wow! The task here is to seek help from a professional if you are having difficulty in letting go and forgiving someone who hurt you in the past. What did I say? Institutions? Hospitals are institutions. So seek professional advice, if not from a friend. My darling Cantor, I think this is an awesome reading and I really do hope that you seek professional help if you need to. Don't walk around with it and have sleepless nights and getting distraught because good times are breaking through, your wish is coming through, there's too many new beginnings and growth to um, ignore. Now you've got a green card and green means healing. Family is important, like the family tree. You've got a tree here, so family is important to you. It also means that you need space to heal. You, money might be coming to you as the green of a dollar. Okay. Harmonious lifestyle, balance work, rest and play. Take heat, Cancer. Balance work, rest and play. Once you lot have set your heart to something, you work yourself in the ground and you forgot, forget yourself you lose yourself and that could be the three of hearts. See how this reading is bringing so many answers to life and <coughs> results perhaps it hope I hope it helps you. Archangel Michael advises you to focus on balancing all your facets of your life to create a harmonious lifestyle. So don't stay alone. Balance, work, rest and play. Join a club or an institution. Make new friends. If you uh, haven't got time to go out, then get your friends around to have a marathon video party. Boom! And if you can't do that, then, for in, especially now with the coronavirus, then please phone, app, make yourself dinner or have a tea party by yourself with friends through Skype or Messenger. Have some fun. Do a challenge. Do a cyber challenge. So I hope I've given you some ideas Stay cool, stay strong, and be blessed. And I hope to see you in the live sessions on Monday and Friday in English. And of course, if you can speak Dutch on Wednesday. Please give us the thumbs up and share and like this video with family and friends. Be blessed and I love you. Ciao, ciao.